when you visit a restaurant, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? You look around the furnishings and fixtures and then feel the ambience around you. Similarly, when you visit a website, you look at the ease of usage and experience that comfort involved while using the application. To simplify it further with the same restaurant example, the food menu, the services, the ambience, music, taste and the restaurant environment can be considered user experience or UX. You are already watching Simply Learn and today we bring this informative video about UX design. Before we begin, if these are the types of video you like to watch, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified. And if you are a tech geek, here is a brain teaser for you. Who coined the concept of UX design? Is it Alan Kay, Turner Norman, John Warner or Dylan Field? Let us know your answer below and get a heart from Simply Learn. Without any further delay, let's get started with the session on what is UX design. UX design creates software or desktop application considering the end user expectations and requirements. It's the process of creating a streamlined experience, whether digital or physical, that customers will find practical, simple to use and enjoyable to interact with. It involves improving the user experience of the consumers when dealing with your product and ensuring they give you good feedback on what you offer. The thought process of constant iteration and ideology to enhance the user interaction with the application and its service can be termed as UX design. There are many factors involved with UX design, but the three most important ones are usefulness, usability, and desirability. If you sum up all these three factors, we can design a great UX or user experience. First come the usefulness of UX. The primary focus of a UX design should always be on the application usability. A website becomes dominant only when it's simple to use, serves the purpose, and proves beneficial to the user. Next come the usability of UX. These factors, usefulness and usability may sound the same. Still, the parameters considered in usability revolve around the effectiveness, efficiency and performance of the application and it's scalable to handle multiple user requests at the same time without crashing. The UX designer must ensure the application is strong enough to easily serve multi-users environments. And the last one is desirability that plays a key role in UX design. The visual aesthetics of application engage desirability in users since the application need to complete with several other similar applications. Higher the desirability, better the application. Look at all the products around you. Think about usefulness, usability and desirability and see which one has a better UX. Next, we will discuss what will make the user experience better. Let's see some examples. One of the most helpful employee onboarding checklists is provided by LinkedIn. How would you go about looking for work or hiring new people? As LinkedIn helps in recruiting new people easily and it's relatively easy. While opening a LinkedIn account, we notice how the website keeps offering suggestions to improve our LinkedIn profile and use the tool more effectively. It can be either by adding relevant skills, acquired certification or just connecting with people in our domain to create a network. And we recall completing them because they seem important and will give our profile better visibility. In this case, LinkedIn is a success. Let's take a look at another example, Spotify completely modified personalization. Spotify rap deserve a market award. One thing is obvious with rap daily mixes and the most recent addition, the bland tool that enables you to combine your music and create a playlist with your friends. Nobody does personalization better than Spotify. Spotify's UX is different since it offers the customization that we all desire in 2022. The Spotify user experience includes not only customization, but also how the software revolves around the idea of personal music. They retain users on app by creating a loop of personalization music, while constantly recommending music you may like with daily suggestion and recommend playlists. This helps create a musical experience that other platforms strive to replicate. User experience one of the industry's trending themes. You should be more familiar with the complexities of user experience if you are in the design profession. So far, we have seen the big picture of UX design. Now let's look into more details about the process and what steps are required to have a good UX design. So the first one in the process is to understand. This is one of the most important procedure in the UX designing for the product team before creating anything in the market. Because understanding the product context is more important before designing it. This phase of understanding gives you the foundation for the design process. Next is the ability to research. 
After brainstorming ideas, the product team moves the application to the research phase. Then the designer conducts thorough research, identifies the problem and comes up with a better solution. The research phase can be classified into two categories, market research and user research. Market research is checking out similar products available in the market and understanding their unique features that make them stand out. User research will be given a higher priority and will form a base of your product by hosting test groups and conducting surveys. This information will help you discover user expectation and serve a better design platform. Up next, we have design. At this phase, the product team start working on activities that involve constructing mockups, images, icons, colors, and etc. The design phase include creating prototyping, wireframes and sketches. But the wireframe is among the most important aspects you can produce. A wireframe is an extremely simplified representation of your product. The next one is testing. This phase determines how the market uses your service and product. For example, if you were the Swiggy app designer, you might ask your user to use the app and place an order. You may have seen how users respond to app while ordering the food. You can query them about their experience once they have finished. This is an excellent chance to determine how satisfied your user is with your app and whether it meets their demands. Should there be any concern, those can be rectified right away before the product hits the market. Finally, we will look into evaluation. The benefit of getting users' feedback is to compare the ideas and assumptions you develop. You can utilize this input to make change to your product or think of the brand new features you may have yet to consider. As we learn more about the UX is being received by the general public, the team can work on the further improving the base to create the best version of your product. After understanding the basics of UX design, are you ready to start practicing on your own and start mastering a design tool now? Let's pick out two tools. One is Figma and it has a very generous free plan. You can work on it using all the features completely and it has some collaboration features that if you are working with someone, you can work on the same design file simultaneously. It can work directly on the browser making it platform independent while also having dedicated apps for certain operating systems. Another option is Adobe XD. Adobe's Creative Cloud offers a synchronization features with other Adobe products, which can be very much helpful when working with large projects. With a very large customer base and readily available support from Adobe, there is a huge collection of templates and project ideas that can be used directly in Adobe XD with minimum fees. You can find a link for our detailed tutorial on how to use Figma in description. That will get you started with the platform without any UX basic knowledge. Thanks for watching this video. If if you have any questions that have come up about UX design or what UX design does, please put them in the comment below. If you like this video, hit the like button below and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.